Hey all, it's me and welcome back to Fallout Equestria Remains. Now, the last time... Oh, it's actually been a while. Uh, the last time what I did was I got... We finished Cantalot and we ran out of healing potions, so I went and did a few runs in the... The abandoned stable, I think, looking for well supplies and the cyber pony magazines. And after I ran through the entire stables, I realized it wasn't the place where I pick it up. It was the Department of Special Research. I also did a few of the trials in Manhattan, but nothing too special there, as far as I can remember. But we did pick up a few quest items, so we have some quests to hand in now, which we will uh, we will do. First off, I would like to get healed. Alright, I... well I can't buy new healing items, but I guess I already... did buy everything I could the last time I was here. Do you have new to sell? And no, just magic potions, okay. Um, nothing really interesting here, unless I'm missing it. No quest either. Uh, get the paint, we are in progress on that one. And oh, we have a new quest for power armor. If you want to get a power armor specially created for you, get at least a few fragments of it. I do not care how you get them, but the electronic components must be in working condition. Alright. Oh, maybe we are supposed... To, we're at the point where we need to visit the Steel Rangers, I believe. That might be where we get our power armor. I've never had a power armor in this game before. That's gonna be great. Well, we did find the Star Blaster. We killed a pretty scary robot. A Sentinel Elite thingy. And uh, we got the Star Blaster. Guess what I have? This is the weapon you dream to see. The Star Blaster. Oh my mad mother, is it really the gun? Yes, it definitely is. Those energy cells that I have are made using the same technology. And so it works? Did you try it in action? I sure did. That's a lie, little pip. We never tried it. I've never seen a weapon more powerful. It is somewhat similar to an ordinary laser pistol, but ten times cooler. Only there's a problem with ammunition. Conventional batteries do not fit. Listen, you said you have some energy cells for it. Can I buy them? Well, just take them for free. I don't need them anyway. And just one look at such a miracle was worth it. Thank you very much. I will find them a good use. And do you think this blaster really fell from the stars? Don't know. Perhaps this was a secret project from the past. Or maybe Pegasi lost it. Who knows what they are doing behind the clouds. But if they had such weapons, we might have a big problem. We shall see. Alright, uh, the reason we haven't really used the Star Blaster is I believe it requires a lot more in energy weapons than we currently have. Uh, let's see. That's a Star Fury, that's a sword. Can we just go to energy weapons? There we go. There we go, it's the Star Blaster. Requires skill level 5, we always skill level is 1. So we can't even use it with reduced accuracy. He has two quests we have in progress, alright. We just need one more from the smoking accessory. I think that's probably from a Manhattan trial. Uh, yes, we have completed the Cyber Pony magazine, so we will hand those in. Got a, some caps and toaster repair. I believe that's a repair skill book. Electronic devices, we also have the rest of these. Item required, a diamond bar. Oh, is that like an upgraded uh, crowbar from the burglars made thing? It might be. Let's see. Oh, I can still use the burglars made. Alright. So, it wasn't a melee weapon? Is it under other? 
Ah yeah, diamond bar, there we go. A very useful tool for sharpening weapons, always wear it with you. It will increase the damage of your piercing cutting weapons by 10%. Oh, that's, that's better than what I expected actually. I just expected it to be an upgrade to the burglar's room. Let's see, can we repair something? The owl for a little bit? Star Fury? No. Uh, maybe just have him repair everything. Alright, and actually there is more to hand in. Uh, but I can't. Can we hand in something with you? Yes. I believe I found this. I can't believe if it was in the abandoned factory. No, it wasn't. It might have been the special research department or a Manhattan trial. I can't remember. Let's hand it in. Get some caps. And we can actually also not go there yet. I want to go to Covert Sign. Because when we leveled up this time, I realized two things. The first thing I realize is that the um, the knowledge down here it says we get an ability for each level up, an additional ability, but I only got one perk when I leveled up this time, so I'm not really sure if that's working as it should be, or if it you just get like one extra ability for each level up in knowledge. It's probably for each level up in knowledge. <clears throat> so once we hit uh, knowledge level 2, we would get an additional ability point, which is a perk. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking anyways. Uh, what did we even choose? I remember skills we went up in medicine, and you will see why in a moment. You remember that six zebra that we uh, didn't have enough medicine to, well, cure. We should be able to cure her now, at least from uh, what someone said in the comments, and we should get something very interesting from it. But I'm trying to remember which perk I actually ended up taking. It might just have been another soldier's luck, to be honest. I think it was, yeah. Alright. But since we went to Cantalot, we can also hand in the Cantalot Alchemy. I think we got all of the, the items needed here. And we should get an elixir of intuition recipe and reward. All right. That is interesting. And we don't have the water talisman yet, so. What is the elixir of intuition? Survival four. All right, so we get more evasion based on this, as far as I can tell. Let's take a look at this one again. Zero was the name. Oh, there we go. You examined the 60 red notice a number of characteristic symptoms. Tons of medical journals you read, you read gave you the opportunity to recollect some rare diseases, match the symptoms and establish a diagnosis. Right, um, let's see what quests we have. New stage of the mission. Get the vaccine from Dusty Fever. And then give the vaccine to Syrah. Alright. I think I know what's wrong with her. By all the symptoms, it appears to be a Dusty Fever. Hmm, yes, perhaps you're right. But this is a very rare disease. How? Well, it doesn't matter. If so, then there is no chance curing her with potions or spells. Only the vaccine will help. But I have no idea where to get it. You see, everything that we have at our disposal is old pre-war reserves and potions of our own production. Perhaps Doc Sepsis can help. Maybe. At least we can't find a better doctor anyway. I understand, little Pip, that you have a lot to do, but if you could... Of course, well, no problem. I'll pay the doc a visit as soon as possible. Hurry, please. I don't know how much time she has. Right. Uh, if I remember correctly, Sepsis is the name of the doctor in our planting pony camp. Um, let's just have a look. Well, he does have a uh, speech bubble thing. Doc Sepsis, yeah, he is. Hi, Doc. There is a very urgent matter. Speak. Someone needs help. 
Yes, one pony <laughs> has a dust fever. I need a vaccine, otherwise... Otherwise it dies. It, aw. Oh. Uh, I see. But are you sure that it has this disease? It is quite rare. All symptoms confirm so. All symptoms? So you decided to become a, become a doctor now. Do you realize that this is not stuff to play with? The very life of a pony depends on your decision, and if you misdiagnose the disease, the patient can easily die. While you wonder why your treatment didn't work. Doc, I understand, but this is serious and I don't have the proper education to qualify for a doctor degree. However, I spent quite a long time studying materials on medicine and the symptoms of the patient exactly match with their description of dusty fever. If the patient has some... Lacrimation? Reddening the mucous membrane of the eye and inflammation of the eyelid. As if from sand, although examination for foreign objects under the eyelids and in the eye of the corners gave no results. The temperature is noticeably higher than usual. Katahal temperatures and rather... Is that correct? Katahal temperatures and rather indicates a viral infection. But there is no swelling characteristic for such a diseases and... Alright, enough. If these are real symptoms, then I agree. Most likely the patient really has a dusty fever. I cannot say anything for sure without a personal examination, but this time I trust your observations. 5,000 caps! Jeez, Doc! Come on. Wow, isn't this too much? I got one ampule of this vaccine for 4,500 caps from a passing by traveling merchant. And I bought it not knowing if I ever have patience with such a disease at all. And all this time I kept it in an appropriate storage conditions, which by the way consume electricity. And the fuel for generators is not free, you know. So better say thank you for selling you medicine almost at cost price and not mentioning your income from selling goods you bring from pre-war ruins. For God's sake, alright, give me the vaccine, I'll pay. Ah, oh, jeez. That is <laughs> very expensive, actually. Vaccine for dust fever, 5,000 caps. Fortunately, he was right. We do have a fair bit of income from scavenging the pre-war ruins. Let's head back to Kovac, I then apply the vaccine. Inject the patient. You inject patient with the vaccine and almost immediately notice positive changes. Her breathing becomes even and deep, and the heat subsides. It seems that the crisis has passed, and now she will cure. Uh, all right, then come after some time and ask Velvet about the patient. That's better. See, I get well soon. What a pleasant feeling when you help others. I should visit her in a day or two and check how she's doing. Ah. But I hate waiting. Alright. Guess there's no way around it. While we wait, we should go to the water treatment plant and meet up with the steel rangers that do not want to kill us. So let's go there. Oh, and we are just instantly in a new camp, aren't we? Alright, let's speak to Steel Hooves. Right, he doesn't have a lot to say, but... Well, maybe this guy does. It's Scribe Amaranth, right? Hey, are you also a Steel Ranger? Affirmative. Scribe Amaranth from the Order of the Star Paladin Steel Hooves. I guess you've already met since you were allowed to stay here in our camp. Please do not touch anything here. Scribe is your title. But I thought that all steel rangers, earth ponies and power armor. This is a... Oh, all steel rangers have earth ponies and power armor, right. This is a misconception. Unicorns can also join the ranks of the steel rangers, but usually become scribes. Unlike knights and paladins, we are engaged in various non-combat activities. We take care of all economic and organizational problems, maintenance, scientific research and so on. Accordingly, instead of power armor, we wear scribes clothes. In this camp, I am personally responsible for supplying the group with rations, ammunition, communication with the command center, repair of weapons, armor and equipment, uh, 
Poison Day of Cancelot disables even the best power armor very quickly, so there is a lot of work. More questions? Questions, questions. Can we trade? It is possible. Personally, I believe that trading with the inhabitants of the wasteland will benefit us all. And what about power armor? Can you sell it to me? Negative. First, only steel rangers have the right to wear power armor. Second, every knight in the group only has his own set of armor. There are no extra ones. And third, the armor is not fit for unicorns anyways. But I can sell you some weapons and ammunition surpluses, as well as fix your equipment if necessary. Actually, I would mostly like to just get some more healing items, although the power armor does sound neat. Not oh, a cleansing flame. That's a flamethrower thingy. I have a feeling that one day I should do a playthrough where I use mostly just heavy weapons. Alright, we have the... I guess that's supposed to be a pulse bomb, but um... Didn't seem to be spelled quite right. Alright, uh, data on Stealth Bug M2. The main Ministry of Image Office, which is in the past developed a stealth bug, possibly still stores some data on a prototype of the stealth bug M2. The second model is much more advanced than the first one. I'll pay you well for any information found. Alright, let's uh, see if we can find some information on that. Motivators RX-47. We really need some spare parts for robots, namely the Motivators RX-47. They can be obtained from any robot of the Guardian class. I have no idea what that means. But, oh, we have collected some of them. I'm not really sure where. Maybe the Sentinels count as a Guardian class robot thing? So, alright, they kind of just have like a small bunker here it seems. And she just has some weapons and repairs. Does that mean I actually have to go back to Cantalot already? I think I do. Oh, I'm gonna run out of healing items again. It's gonna be horrible. Alright, um, first off, I should switch to not the magical energy dagger, but the magical energy sword. Right, and let's see, lightning bolt, might be fine, death ray, sure. Terrible, actually. The thing is, I can't see them, I can't affect them. But I take damage um, very fast. Right, I can possibly get that one. Do I still take damage even if I... Jeez. Oh. How are you supposed to disable these if you can't... already tell this is going to be horrible. I do have a 5 out of 5 in Yard and Spirit, so no need to remove that. That was a very strong healing potion, an extra strong healing potion even. And a potion of life. Right, 
more medical items, I will need those. Every single one of them. Just to repair. Repair improved. Don't mind if I do. I suppose some extra hit points won't be bad. I also had a potion of spirit, it seems. Even see that? How did I? Uh... Was that pink cloud always there? Might have been. Just kind of blended in with the background really well, though. to try and move just a little more carefully. Let me see a few of those. That's the uh, pink cloud. Those clouds are very hard to see in the background here. I could barely just make it up because of the door was covered in some pink thing. It's worth to break the lock on that one, but I'm not entirely sure. How many backless rooms do I have? That's mostly potions. I only have three. I don't feel like that's a lot. But it's probably okay. Ah, it wasn't worth it. But you know that feeling of just leaving behind a locked container that may or may not contain something awesome? Yeah. 
it's hard to do. It's really hard to do. How are you supposed to... Do you even want what's in there? That's the question. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Oh, now they can't. Hello. Oh, another one. Is it good or bad that some of the easier enemies here is the Alicorns? I don't feel that's right. That is so ridiculously expensive to repair, bearing in mind that we actually do have high, quite a high repair skill. that one to contain some more healing potions. I guess we don't always choose what we get. that's uh, this room and for now I think we will wrap up the episode here and I will see you in the next one. Fits for now.